everyone, welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. My name is Blue Phoenix. My pronouns are she, her. So it's been a while, so I want to thank you all for sticking around and um, all the new subscribers as well. Um, I've been kind of busy with the chickens and getting them all settled. I've got six of them in new homes. So that was great for me. And then we slimmed down, started the, um, chicken runs and then I'm almost kind of done with them I still need to tweak up some of the the areas and then also finish some of the the top netting part of it um, and then also just kind of like secure it a little bit better so that way it's just like in tip-top shape for a good while and then um, I have other garden plans so stay tuned for the lives and definitely I'll keep y'all updated with the gardens, what I'm doing. I've planted up some new things in the backyard and also kind of just starting some new herbs and that I'm gonna be sharing with you all soon. So definitely stay tuned for that. In today's video, I wanted to do a fun, quick uh, Plant Care Tuesday video for you all. And this one's uh, one of my favorites to do because I really like demonstrating the different techniques air layering can um, occur. And then also how you can use sphagnum moss for your own advantage in growing and having a more successful propagation for yourself. Um, I always recommend doing this. And then um, I just kind of want to like throw out a really quick tip. If you're going to do a cutting of a node, I would highly recommend it, especially if it's small, <laughs> um, to put plant sealer on it. So that way it doesn't continuously rot. I've kind of like experienced it myself and then I've also used the sealer on it. You can use um, like candle wax uh, for it as well. And just make sure it really dries out. Um, and then that way it won't um, affect the plant and it won't rot. But I hope that helps out some sellers out there <laughs> with some of their nodes. Um, but in this video we're talking about air layering and how sphagnum moss works and i'm going to show you all a couple of great plants over here that i have selected for you all um i have my syngonium elbow first off so next um i am going this light yeah sorry about the lighting i think that was just not the right light to use for that so next we're going to i'm going to show you all um my other one that i'm air layering is this um, philodendron uh, summer glory super pretty right look at this large leaf like newest foliage is... look at that look how pretty that looks the and then the the back of it is is in the maroon but it fades to the green whenever um, it's it becomes like uh, a more mature but as you see, it, it grows really like larger foliage. So that's a really good advantage uh, into providing um, a sphagnum moss um, air layering technique for your plant. As you see, it looks really pretty. And then um, it also helps with propagation. So sizing of the plants is a really good one. Um, and then for me, I'm also doing this thing where I'm like figuring out <laughs> If this is a Monstera Celtipicana um, El Salvador, I'm trying to collect those the two. And before I start like looking into other ones, I just kind of like want to know what I have. But I have this like jute pole that I made that's just intertwined with this um, plastic cup that I'm just reusing until it really like breaks down and I can just recycle it. But that's what I have for like the little stuff. And then um, I'm gonna show you all in just a little bit after I'm showing you the rest of them, how to like uh, maneuver this and propagate from that. So this is my philodendron Florida ghost. 
the new you can see the caterpillar right there with the new variegation emerging from it. But uh, what I've learned is to do a sphagnum moss base for it. So the sphagnum moss base is usually found within air, um, within the for the anthuriums usually because it really provides that base for them to um, grab onto and like grow from there. So I've learned that, and then this one also is great for sizing up your newest foliage. Plus, as you see, it threw, it threw out like another baby foliage at the same time. So the caterpillar, and then also some new little growth to it. I thought that was really cool, and I just like how to share it with y'all. So that's fun. And then um, this is a, also another different type of like sphagnum moss base for it, Belgian and Campo. So as you see, that's like the old base, but like the newest leaf is emerging as newer. This one's getting bigger. Um, and then it just has like a little base right here. And it's in this uh, planter because it doesn't dry out, dry out as often. And this is one of the, the ones that I almost always forget to water. So retain water. I thought that was a really cool um, introduction to uh, air layering and then also the great benefits that sphagnum moss does. Um, like this one, it pushes off growth. And you'll see from when I open these up um, how great it is because it'll like really give it some good roots. So let's see, I'm gonna open up this. Uh, Syngonium album. I usually wait until the newest growth is fully opened up and ready, but it's okay now since it's like been a while in here. So I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I just use plant tape, a Ziploc baggie. I cut off the bottoms of it so that way I can maneuver the plant in there easier but you're gonna see how great of an advantage it does for it. And if you're gonna reuse a moss a good tip is uh, to take it all out remove as much of the dirt with with any of the moss that it's on there and then also uh, boil it make sure you boil it because uh, if you don't it's gonna probably still have some like pest in there so it's always good to do that but look at these roots as you see it really like grabs on to the sphagnum moss and it gives it like a good like way to grow from it that's why i was pushing off so much new growth so quickly uh, but I'm gonna chop this up because I just feel like it. <laughs> okay, so now as you see, I have two cuttings of it. So this one still had a little bit of um, some elbow to it. So we're gonna see if that'll push off any new growth from it. This one doesn't have any. So regardless, it still might end up pushing off new growth so it's a good idea to just kind of like hold on to it until you really know um and then you can have fun and chop off some more variation for it so that's one plant to show you that i wanted to show you all the next one i really wanted to check out is this monstera celta picana i really think it's a salvador but i really don't want to get my hopes up because you know it's it's, it's that one's one of my wish list plants because I really wanted to grow it out and get like really large foliage for it and um, just like enjoy that and trade and get more plants. That's the name of the game here. We get more plants. We give away plants, but we get more plants. So it's always a good, good way to see it. And then I'm trying to start up my uh, 
take a plant legal plan again. So that way uh, people can come by and enjoy that again. But it's all good. There's some roots forming in here. But as you see, this one still this one has really good roots to it also. Um, I've been using um, a product from Lowe's. It's the nutrient one. I'll put it on the floor. So I've been using this from Lowe's right now. Um, it's the most affordable product. I'm kind of like also going to be reviewing a lot of different products for y'all. So that way you'll see the difference. And I'm, that's why I'll probably be taking a little bit of time away from the videos. Um, so if y'all don't see me upload, it's because probably I'm doing a project of like a time lapse or I'm trying to do um, a review, a product review. If I'm doing a product review, I want to give it like a good month to at least like see some sort of difference and can um, go about it that way instead of just being like, oh, here's my opinion about it. It's good. <laughs> so I want to give y'all some like good uh, video and footage of growth and it's always great for me too because then I know which products to go for again because I forget so let's get this one up so that's the only part that I was air layering So, let's see if I can show you the newest growth. What do y'all think? Monstera Salta or Monstera Salta El Salvador? It looks like El Salvador to me, but I don't know. I had both at one point, <laughs> and then I killed both of them. So, here's me hoping at least I get one of them back. But yeah, and then this one, I just want to like leave it here and then we'll grow it out. We'll like repot it into a um, different container, a larger planter, because right now it's still in this nursery plant and it has a little root coming out. But I don't want to do it on camera just yet. So, okay, next I'm kind of anxious to see what is in here. Uh, and how this one's doing, so we're gonna check this one out. This one's the hybrid. Okay, guys. The moss, what it did, in it, it, it like activated some more growth points, and I'll show you. Oh, these are the roots. <laughs> okay, I thought they were the, they're the roots. You see those little red stems poking out and that's the root so it really helped it root better so that's a, that's good to know um, so when I do want to propagate it I'll like be able to see where to cut and then make it easier cut that way I'm not ready for it to be cut just yet okay okay so we're gonna pop this one up in here for now this is like my temporary nursery planter that I use for them. And then voila. So this is what I do. And then um, have this one formulated with the nutrient solution with it. And then I just spray it. Yeah, that should be good. So what I'm gonna do with this one to really find out is put it in my grow tent. And if it starts to like really show off that silver foliage to it, then I know. And that's pretty much like a good way of just really figuring it out. All right, y'all. We made it to the end of the video. And this was a really quick video. Um, I just wanted to like 
Twitch base, what's everybody? So thank you all because I've been seeing like new subscribers. So I just really wanted to say thank you for like subscribing to the channel. You know, I've been gone a little bit. Um, I do lives here and there, and then I just still like doing my my personal channel as well. And then like I said, I'm doing reviews and other products and stuff. So and then also events. So at times I'll be going live at my events, and you can like see what we do. We do a lot of plant swaps, some classes. Um, the classes I try to share it more on Facebook and um, just because it's like immediate audience knows right away um, but also stay tuned for that and I try to I'll try to see if I could like cross post it somehow onto um, YouTube but yes if you made it to the end of this video leave a little plant emoji and I really appreciate you all so much for um, sticking through and a huge special thanks to our Patreon members uh, for staying through to, with us for this long. It's been about now two years. So thank you all so much. You all are amazing and your extra support goes a really long way. So thank you. There'll be more videos to come out. You have a great day. Bye everyone.